students, we are going to read a sample of a student's essay for you to critique. As Jonas receives memories from the giver, he begins to understand that a perfect society is not worth sacrificing things like beauty and love. When Jonas receives the memory from the giver about family, Jonas begins to understand that his community has given up true love in order to preserve sameness. Jonas realizes that his community made this sacrifice to eliminate the risks that could happen if people did not find someone to love or if families broke apart. Jonas shows he does not fully agree with the sacrifice when he says, but anyway, I was thinking, I mean feeling actually, that it was kind of nice then and that I wish we could be that way and that you could be my grandparent. His words to the giver suggest that he thinks that his community made too great a, of a sacrifice when they gave up family and grandparents in order to preserve sameness and reduce risk of families breaking apart. Have you ever thought about the word redundancy? I do especially whenever my grandmother tells me stories over and over and over again, it's redundant. She's telling me something that I've already heard 10,000 times. So do we see a little redundancy in this paragraph? So let's clarify, redundancy, repeating words or phrases over and over again. Well, let's think about it. Let's look at this question. What do you notice about the first two sentences? What do you think? Let's look at the underlined words. Jonas receives memories from the giver. Jonas receives memory from the giver. I've already read that twice, so I get it. He receives memory from the giver. Let's think about how we could possibly make this a little bit more smoother. Okay, but we're not done yet. Let's look at some other points to help our friend make his or her essay a little bit better. So we have, can you think of a shorter and more precise way to convey this idea? So the third sentence, let's reread the third sentence together. Take a deep breath. Jonas realizes that his community made this sacrifice to eliminate the risks that could happen if people did not find someone to love or if families broke apart. That's, that's quite wordy, right? So we need to help this student make the idea a little bit more concise, a little bit more understandable. Then lastly, let's look at this last sentence. Can you think of a shorter and more precise way? So again, let's reread this. His words to the giver suggest that he thinks that his community made too great of a sacrifice when they gave up family and grandparents in order to preserve sameness and reduce the risk, risk of families breaking apart. Whew, okay. What are some ways we can help this student once again make it a little bit more tighter and flow easier? Let's see. The first two sentences were redundant. We heard that Jonas received from the, the giver. And the third sentence was really um, long and fluffy and full of words that we just didn't necessarily need. So let's look at how we fixed this essay. When the giver shows Jonas how families existed in the past, Jonas realizes the extent of his community's sacrifice. Although Jonas realizes his community did this to eliminate heartache and broken families. Oh my goodness. You get all of what you were trying to say or this student was trying to say in all of those sentences and all of those words into this compact, precise and concise thought. Okay. We still said what we needed to say, but it was said in a much more uniform manner. 
by expanding vocabulary and not repeating the same thing over and over again. And then the last sentence, okay? These words show that Jonas wishes that his community could experience family in the same way despite risks that could occur. How awesome is that? Again, bumped up the vocabulary, okay? Risks, all right, what were those risks mentioned? Heartache, broken apart families. So we still were able to keep the idea and thought that the writer of this essay was trying to show but we use words and sentences that give more concrete of an image to the reader without being redundant or without being too wordy.